So, what are your brief arguments in the favor of the existence of God? Well, I think the word brief will be a little difficult because uh, where you have spent your whole life in knowing and understanding a thing, how long and how short you could be. But as I told you, the basic question which a man faces in his uh, youngest possible you see, mental age is whether you are free or you are not free. The adage is that if God is there, you are not free. If God is not there, you are free. Then there is no morality, no concept of life, nothing at all. Do whatever you like. You only have to escape the mundane human laws. And if you are clever enough, you can master the whole universe, you can dodge anybody, you can play tricks, you can gain advantages. It's up to you whether to be a sage of this running world or to be a sad man or uh, sitting in a hermitage. So the basic question is very, very important whether I'm free or I'm not free. Whether I have a God and I'm created one or I'm uh, not uh, created, I'm a spontaneous generation. And uh, now that I've gone to such a uh, heights of my own stature that now I think I can exploit, I can do anything I like. Now, the, you see, mostly we, we find that the modern philosophies, whatever they are, they were against God out of the Renaissance uh, born in Europe. And they were denying God because uh, the God was uh, absolutely against human wishes. And the wishful thinking, as you used this word before, was a very strong, I must say, motive to create, in, uh, you see, a, a different attitude in man. For example, a young girl would say, what God has to do in my love affair, you see. A young boy would say, I want to do this and that, and why God should inhibit me in that. So uh, even a wise man would say, sitting in the arms, I like to drink, why should he stop me to drink? I go to like to you see, go to women. Why should some god there up where which I have not known, seen? Why should he stop me from doing that? Yeah. But you see, the reality is that uh, by my own time when I was born, there was not much of a proof. You have to believe first and then find the truth. I don't do this. My basic premise was that if six billion people say there is not God. Not necessarily that there should be no God. If six billion people say there is a God, not necessarily that he should be there. So one has to find a very definitive way of seeking God. The best way has been suggested by uh, Sayyidina Ibrahim wasalam, Either you achieve this purpose by inductive or deductive thinking. The inductive thinking is that you lay down a premises and then, then try to look for God any way you like, you see. Ibrahim said an inductive uh, uh, you see, dictum before him and that was, okay, the one who fails, the one who goes down and the one who is defeated or the one who is weak is not God. So he looked at the star, he looked at the moon, he looked at the sun and he said, these, these people, they all go down. So they cannot be God. So my God is one who cannot, cannot be mitigated in his power. He cannot, you see, be shown as a weaker entity. When I was born and I thought, when I grew up to my own, you see, thinking, I had a different uh, kind of, you see, a rule before myself, you see. Number one, is there any data about God with us or not, you see? Mostly, like logical positivists would tell you, there is no data about God on earth, therefore I don't believe God. You see. God is nonsense. Like you see, Bertrand Russell type people, those philosophers, though, you name centuries with them, after the names, they would say, skepticism does not allow any such existence about which we do not know. This could be an imagination like a blind man who has not seen the elephant cannot say this is an elephant. But I had a different idea. Is there anything on God that which claims to be the true word of God, true basis of God? Let's say, you, you could say the prophets are people of God, but somebody says, I do not believe them as prophets. Then what? 
So I had to come back to the only one thing which exists on earth which claims to be the word of God, that was the Quran. Because in Quran Allah says this is my book, not only says this is my book, He authenticates its, its, you see, every word, every single verse of the Quran. More He says that I have protected it from all times and space changes and it is with you and it stay, will stay with you till the end of the day. So he says, Nahanu nazzalna zikra wa inna lahu lahafizun. I created the Quran and I stand as the protector of this book. Funny, every book has changed. Even the modern English has changed. Let's say if I quote a few words from the modern English, you would say, is this English? And would you object? But the language goes through a lot of changes. But on a, you see, this is unlikely that things may not change in texts, words, phrases, in their dots, in their commas. So uh, let me tell you a few words from the Chaucerian modern English. And they say, one dot April with the Shuri Sutta, the drift of March, hath pursued to the Rutte, and baited the ravine in Swish Laku, of which were two engendered as the flow. I don't think modern man can understand what does he say in these modern verses. But I know exactly that the verse which has been read, you see, 1500 years before of the Quran is still the same. Unchangeable in text, in every single phraseology, and also in time and space. This is the best test of any thesis. So when you find that this book claims to be the book of God, then either you try to uh, try to gain freedom from this book. If this is the word of God, a man makes a thousand mistakes but still remains a man. If God makes one mistake, he does not remain a God. You understand this? So we have to check every single sentence of the Quran, every word of the Quran. It should pass the test of the most modern psychologists, scientists, physicists, and everybody else, you see. Anybody who has a curiosity, anybody who has knowledge, anybody who has the sense of putting a question, he must study this work with that sense. And if this stands out, if it turns out to be true, then you have to be convinced at least of one thing. The teller of this tale is absolutely true. Whatever he claims is true. Whatever he says in the book is final. So there is no such book on Gazas which gives proper reference to his creator, except for the Quran. So the next step was to read the Quran, study the Quran, exactly the way a common book is read, with your intelligence, with your caliber, with your information, with whatever you know on God's earth, and you have to challenge every single word of the book with one condition. We have to set aside all those things. I cannot say that this religious scholar can explain the Quran. We have to see that somebody who claims to know a lot of things about this, who knows what is going to in what is happening in the world, who knows where the man's progress has reached. I must be very well acquainted with skyscrapes and escalators and with atom bombs and with all the modern things, with hydrogens, with all these electronics. I must know them because one single mistake in your understanding may not put the question in right. So, by the grace of Almighty Allah, now I can say by the grace of Almighty Allah, in the beginning I wanted freedom. I thought God is the biggest killer of freedom of man. I wanted to be free. So if you wanted to be free, how can you have sympathies for God? How can? If you want to be free, if you want to be on your own, if you want to do whatever you want to do, then God is the only resisting force وَأَمَّا مَنْ خَافَ مَقَامَ رَبَّهِ وَنَحْيِ النَّفْسَ عَنِ الْهَوَىٰ 
that who wants to know me and love me has to stand against my himself i don't want to stand against myself the biggest weakness is man is sympathy for his own self and undoubtedly i had the strongest sympathy for myself i wouldn't like to believe a god who curtails who subdues me to his will who subdues me to his written word i would not like to believe a god so mercilessly mercilessly with a sense of apathy in pure scientific reasons i have read every single word of the quran to find out a loophole a weakness a wrong information a wrong word a wrong history a wrong anthropology anything i could find out to prove him wrong so i will get rid of him frankly i miserably failed i failed I accept my defeat. But after you see, you know the truth lies with him. After you know that he is absolute truth. After you know he is absolute power. Perhaps after you know that he is total. Then what can you do? Either you run away from him, like the kafirs of the Arabia did. like any you see self assert of man i must say out of his own egoistical motives like say duncan type of philosophers that very stupid thing you say a man has created a life cell but man has created life cell out of his own pocket do you think he has created man out of his own pocket he has used the same elements created by god so he's given you the wisdom He has called you a creator of your own, his own time. He's giving you this intelligence, this intellect. So you can't say I have created this. No, you have discovered a lot. In the in the words of Russell, I must say, though he denied, but still he accepted this one. It's his words. We only know the relationship of things. We do not know the nature of things. So we are still. desperately trying to understand the nature of things and the more we are involved in this inquiry the more we are baffled the more we you see are mistaken about ourselves the more we are coming to no free will and with the latest experiment in the study of minds by dr marcus they have told that we have no free will Six seconds before we make a decision, a blind decision comes from our unconscious. It outrules everything, and there is no denying to it. So finally, I must say, the writer of the book is right. So we got to believe. Simple. Now, unless and until you bring an argument which can refute the verse, which can refute the verse of the Quran or God, I am not ready to change my opinion. I am ready to learn. but i have spent a lot of time much so this is the, this is the almost the dusk of my life i would say now i have tried my best to find mistakes no i don't find mistakes i accept his orders that's all thank you so much sir